everybody, welcome back to Pixel Junkies. Hey we're playing the Karen. We're here. We're finally at the regional manager of this, the last episode of Chapter One of Karen's Adventure in in in, in Narnia or whatever the fuck this is. In New York, yeah. And and we're gonna find Abe Lincoln. Yeah. Well, it was Georgia. Uh, you don't know the Lord. It goes to Washington or whatever. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go fight Abe Lincoln. Gate, we'll Who killed uh, George, oh, Washington. George Washington? Is it actually George Washington? No, he's not in this game except oh. uh, probably statue form. God damn it! Well, he's maybe in. he's in this game. So, like, were those guys just chilling there, like, expecting no one to come up and like start shooting? Yeah, well, they are American military. You are technically you are technically attacking your own country. So right my now. cousin is. Um, they're terrorists, Adam. in in the U.S. Army. They're Trump supporters. Oh, is he? Yeah, and good for him. And it was really U.S. Interesting. Army or U.S. military. <coughs> uh, <laughs> military, because that's broader. So I have well, no what does he do? Idea. I have no idea. I think he's just an infantryman. Um, but I could be wrong. He might. He might. They be prefer more than the term inter infantry folk. Oh, of course. Uh, infantry. Uh, inf I think he's part of the infantry. No, but he's he's doing a an African. He's going to Africa he's on a mission. <laughs> He will probably also be doing an African. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm sure there's lots of lovely women down there you can fall in love with. Who the fuck are these guys? They're coming to blow up the door. Why didn't they help you during that firefight? They did, but they were back there and they're all like level 30. They're all, instead of actually helping you, they're all like shouting out like, Bang, 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 bang. Piro, piro. Man, I gotta reload. Click, 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 click. Alright, fuck you. I'm gone. Gotta speak to the manager. Man, that's it. I can't believe we're doing the last mission all this time. Karen's been fighting for the manager yep. and now she's about to get there. Oh man, it's Slender Man. Watch out. Oh, Do you guys no. remember 3D Doritos? Yep. Those things were so fucking good. Were they? And they're the same as regular Doritos. No. Yes. No. They're just thinner because they had a dick load of air in them. Yes. And I bet it was air from someone's dick. I would en envision Can you imagine and milking hope. a dick for air. I would like, like, don't come. You can't come and just squeeze that oh, air out. Uh, ten out of ten whiff there. And okay. Ah! You might <laughs> you might over. level up. You might level up. Might level up, huh? Yeah, you're at thirty eight thousand. Oh yeah, I get a I get a proficiency cash, but I'll drop it because I can't carry anymore. Well, Actually like, I I might be able to carry it. I don't understand this whole inventory thing. How can you hold a hundred guns? Because I got a huge backpack. Okay. That the bag sense. of holding That's fine. Yeah. Like from D&D. I wish I had a... Shit. I wish I had a holding bag. A holding bag? H-O-L-T-E-N. Holding bag. Holding. Well, what's a holding bag? No, I can't carry it. I don't know. It's what you guys are talking about. Bag of holding. No, you said bag of holding. No. Like I, Tim Holtons? Jordan, this might surprise you, but I often... Oh, please, Tim Holtons! <laughs> Man, it'd be great ba, if you could ba, get, a, ba, ba. If you oh, could get a, a cup of holding, and you just have like a terrible amount of coffee. Yeah, but it was all, but it's only Tim Hortons, and it's all made like shit. Yes for yes for cream, and they put milk in. You can't, guys. Tim Hortons is copyrighted. You can't fucking. Sorry, Holtons. Him Tortons. <laughs> him Holtons. Yeah, him Tortons coffee is garbage. Yeah, don't go to him Tortons. <laughs> fucking him Tortons was a contortionist. <laughs> him Tortons couldn't make fucking food to save him Tortons life. I'm gonna I'm gonna use him Thornton's in a song. Good know, credit me and Aaron. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah. Well, then him I'll Thornton's also, copyright. Uh, then I'll use a Holton's. Well. <laughs> him Thornton. Holton's hotel. Him Holton. 46 coffee or whatever. It's a uh, rock dosed, rock dosed him Thornton's. Man, I'd just be going around punching people in this game if I had a punching ability. Well, I mean, there's a punching ability, but there's really, really what no What was that damage. guy's plan? Just to boogie scoot his way off to you and then boot scoot and boogie? They're trying to flank me, but I'm <laughs> This is what he was singing to us all come to work. <laughs> boot and scoot and doogie doogie oh. boot and scoot, or whatever the fuck that and song is. And then dropping your flashbang there, buckaroo. What's, Jordan, what's the worst song? The worst That's song? That's a good question. I don't know, man. I think Hotline Bling is up there. As the worst song. Yeah, no, that's not the worst song. I don't know, it's man. It's gotta be like Dropkick Me Jesus song. or it's, something. It's catchy. That's the thing. Because yeah, I can listen to the Hotline so. Bling. You used to call me on my cell phone. I'll sing that garbage here. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, I don't know. What, what do you think is the worst song ever? I think it's completely objective. But it could be Ricky Martin, She Bangs, sung by something. William Hung. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's up there. That could be... That's up there. Um, Who's the worst musician, then? Because, like, there are some the people with... Who's the guy who's saying Livin' the Vita Loca? See, that is Ricky Martin. But I wonder Might if... Be him. I wonder... 
Okay, so like, wh- where Madonna? We, when you say the worst musician, do you mean like you shitty can. person? Where the hell are you going? Because it's Kanye West, but Kanye West has had good music. Yeah, yeah Kanye he? West is just the weirdest human being. Like he's just so weird. Like, would it be uh, who sang uh, who sang uh, Mothers Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys? Because that's a pretty Willie fucking Nelson. awful song. I think it was George Jones, who's like renowned as one of the best. That was Willie Nelson. Of all time. Yeah, was but that's a it? weird. Fo- that's a terrible Mom, song. Don't let your babies grow. Up it's so cowboys. fucking twangy. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what a lap steel sounds like, guys. Yeah, that's a pretty, uh, pretty dark shit song. Reminds, uh, reminds me of that episode of the Friends where where Joey the, tries to learn French. Have you guys seen that? Uh, uh, by the way, amazing. the worst song of all time has to be a song from an actual artist. It can't just be some dipshit on YouTube who's doing a terrible cover. So it can't be like the yeah. melodica cover of Jurassic Park or whatever. <laughs> shitty, so, like, shitty flute is a great channel for that. Yeah. So it's like I don't know. I'm I'm kind of what Aaron dropkick me Jesus has got to be right up there. There's got to be some country garbage. Dropkick uh, me Jesus. Like how many ways no can you put a dick inside not. of a pickup? I don't know. I, I don't tend to listen to bad music. Uh, unless I stumble into it, and then I don't well, remember the Well, you all Eilish, and and I think she's great. I do. I really I will stand by that. Um, that's a dope riff. Yeah. That's a unique, and it's I mean, got a she, cool, I mean, like, horror kind of vibe to yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, she, she she stole it blatantly from the X-Files. Well, probably. Who knows? Music's all about... Oh, anything by DJ Khaled. Sorry, guys. Like, oh, another one! <laughs> I stole this song from Santana, but this is another one I wrote. I'm like... Yeah, he's um, not... He's not... The greatest, uh, Pitbull, another one. No, I'm I'm gonna stand by Mr. fucking Mr. DJ Mr. Khaled, and I, it's so funny because like me and Kirsten will have these conversations sometimes, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Like she's like, oh, he's probably a good producer. I'm like, I don't think so. I think that guy just somehow lucked into being a fucking idiot that everybody is like, he's great. He's just he's just great. He, he Everything lo- he touches he just into turns it, gold. But he sucks, so he's he's desperately trying to like figure out what led to his success so he can replicate it. But he just does the same shit anyway, so it doesn't yeah. matter. He's like, and it's so funny because she's seen him in concert, and every time he played a song, yeah. it would not be longer than 30 seconds. So I really think he fucking copyright infringes on his own shit when he plays live, so he has to play less than 30 seconds to fucking do it legally. He's like, yo, I wrote this one. Haha. <laughs> it's another DJ Khaled exclusive. And, he just, <laughs> and that's the kind of shit he gets on with, right? He's like, DJ Khaled! And then it's just, that's the whole song. And he's like, boom, boom, boom. DJ Khaled! And I'm like, so they, puts so a watermark on I looked up DJ, it is. I looked up DJ Khaled, and then underneath, uh, it was like, people also search for it. And it's just a list of, like, who's who of the worst fucking pop artists. French Montana, Drake, Khalid, Quavo, Khalid is actually Rick really good. Ross, I like well, Khalid, but not DJ Khaled. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that one. What's the difference? Uh, Rick Ross, ASP Rock. person. It's ASAP Rocky. Is there literally Chris two different Brown. ones? Yeah. Khalid and Khalid? Khalid and DJ Khalid. Who the fuck are you? Chance the Rapper's good. I like Chance. I don't like Chance. I don't get him. He's a, he's like a rapper's rapper. He's an animal. Like he, anyway. Yeah, no, and I like rapper's rappers, and I just don't get him. Do you like MF Doom? I don't know who that is. Who the fuck is Fat Joe? Dude, lean back. Lean back. Oh, is that the guy that had like... Hmm, hot attack. <laughs> chat, chat. Also, the guy oh, who Cardi had B. like Cardi a moo moo Oh, there. Cardi B kills me. I can't listen to her talk. Is she like... We're alienating our whole audience of two people. I know. Is she just an advertisement for that rum? No. Is that, rum is that is the jo- like B. Cardi? Oh, Bacardi, yeah. Is that yeah. the joke? No. No. She's just a ex-stripper who... Does not a talk. Oh, I thought she, she was like you, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you. a ball of play doh to gain sentience. Yeah, I remember. And, and I remember once. I like, don't think it did. There was a bunch of people who were like, "She's the sexiest woman alive." I'm like, is she? Because like, there's way no, sexier singers not. out there. Like, I would argue Nicki Minaj is way sexier than she is. And she's also like a ball of play doh. Nicki Minaj is also up there for me for worst fucking uh, least favorite artist. Fucking, I, I honestly thought that Stupid Ho was a... I didn't like it, but I'm like, this song is actually pretty brilliant until I realized it wasn't a parody. It was just... It was literally her talking about another woman. I thought it was like some sort of parody about the music industry and be like, oh, that's cool. She's making she's, she's making a statement about how, like, you gotta, like, women singer, rap artists have gotta come across as these stupid people and super artificial uh, and causing shit all the time in order to be successful. 
Nope, that's literally... she. There was no hidden meaning behind that song. She just had a fucking beef with another artist. Fuck that. I, it might be Stupid Hole might be the, might, might be my least favorite song. Just, uh, I've never heard of it. It's, yeah. I, I won't even play it. Can you shoot those that's things on bad. the ground? Yeah. They're... What the fuck are they? They were like concussion mines. Oh. Good thing they made a fucking massive red glow. <laughs> fucking obvious on the ground. Step here! Division agent, step here, quick! Where are you right now? I am somewhere. Are you close oh, man, to finding George Washington? He's in the, game. He's in the second alive. game, Jordan. Huh? Where the fu why the fuck are we here? We're fighting the regional manager. Because we're currently Matthew chasing... <laughs> So what happened is Gordon Amherst, who uh, engineered the green poison and unleashed it on New York, <clears throat> ended up uh, succumbing to it himself. But Aaron nah, Cater, an, an ex-division agent, sort of picked up the slack, took the poison, and is now on the run. So we're chasing Aaron Keener to try and uh, see where he's going and what he's doing to try and stop him from spreading the poison around and engineering it'd, it'd be like if It'd be like if Emperor okay. Palpatine got killed in his own Death Star. Yeah. Like a fucking idiot. So we're gonna find Karen here. Yeah, we I, are yes. Karen. What? Oh, God damn, why do we bring him on? It's a Karen versus Keener. He doesn't even like DJ Khaled or whatever. No, the one. <laughs> so who's Khalid? Khalid is an actual singer. Yeah. He's got a good song with Pink. That's really good. I, honestly, I'm not a big fan of him, but I will admit he, I like him better. Him, than like, him. I haven't learned this many things in one day before in a long time. I know, it's because you never leave. I know, yes. yeah. This is, my, this is my seat. And it's funny because I don't think you leave that seat, let alone your house. That's what I'm saying. The, I'm part of the seat. It's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never sitting in that seat again. Well, there you go. I don't know if you've I'm ever gonna, I'm going to say something controversial here. Singer. I think Johnny Cash is a pretty good singer. Oh, man. Hot a joke. I don't think he wasn't bad. Like, I don't think, like, technically he was, like, a fucking, you know, like, I can't think of any Brandy Carlisle or something but like I don't know who it is you should check her out she's wicked she's so good um she's like a modern day Janis Joplin meets Dolly Parton that's basically not a that good sounds good that's not a great description oh, but, well, <laughs> but it's enough for me um you know it was an awful I've seen her live and it was like one of the coolest life experiences she actually walked past me like she was two feet behind me and I was like well okay this just made my life so um it's yeah. uh, I uh, I'm I I one of the I think one of, another one of my worst songs ever is fucking imagined by John Lennon. I fucking hate that song. I generally don't like a lot of John Lennon songwriting. Yeah, no, John John on his own wasn't that great. Wasn't I think imagine. The people. I think that was more. Everything he did was more of a statement uh, against. Um, also, Yoko was out of her fucking mind. Yeah. Guys, have you seen the the, the Bill Burr uh, description of Yoko Ono, uh, uh, John Lennon, and Chuck Berry? No. It's uh, the funniest I... fucking thing. Basically, John Lennon is playing with Chuck cool. Berry, who has yeah, to be one of Yeah, I have seen his, that. He has to be yeah. one of his legends, right? Yeah. So, like, clearly this is an awesome experience for him. And Yoko's like, I want to be involved too. So John's like, okay, you can play the bongo drums. Here's and she gets a little mic set up next to the bongo right. drums and she plays it fucking horribly the whole time, and then <laughs> oh my god it's so funny. I don't know. Yeah. Bill Burr's description of his soul is is the best, but but basically like in the middle of the performance she she's like oh me playing the bongos isn't enough, picks up the mic and starts going oh yeah 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 oh yeah 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 oh, in the middle yeah. of like a classic rock like <laughs> and she's like oh yeah 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 yeah. And Chuck Berry <laughs> looks at her with so, like half fear and like <laughs> pure disgust. Like, and John fuck? Lennon looks over and he's like, in? "What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're ruining this for me." I love that fucking video. And Bill Burr is like the way he talks is just Bill just, Burr. I think is one of the the fucking funniest and people. And John looks over and he's like, "What the fuck are you doing, Yoko?" Like. She takes the fucking microphone out of the stand, starts playing the bongo, and as they're singing, you know, go, go, Johnny, go, whatever, she picks up the mic and I swear to God goes, yeah, 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 some fucking crazy shit. And you see Chuck Berry's eyes fucking open as wide as they are, and, and it's, that, it's that fucking look. 
It is so great. It's so fucking funny. Chuck, I think Chuck Berry uh, is is the only uh, is the only popular artist uh, to ever pee on someone and and get away with what? It. <laughs> it's like a rumored thing. No, he's the only artist whose song has ever left the solar system. Well, technically no, but okay. Well, you know, it's on the golden disc. Is it? Yeah. Uh, and the golden disc that, uh, that's on the Voyager 2. Uh, and left, the, the, left the solar system in physical form. Yes. Okay. Because, uh, you know, radio waves and all that. Uh, he, um, the, when they were doing the Sounds of Earth, which is uh, basically the golden disc, if you play it, it has a bunch of sounds of Earth. You can actually listen to it. It's online. All the stuff that's on there. They have sounds of things from nature, so like whale songs, the sound of rain, uh, human people, uh, people saying hello in like I think every dialect, or I think like a hundred different dialects. Uh, then they have, you know, there's a bunch of stuff like that, different animal noises, no and wind, sound of wind. Um, they also have examples of our music. So they have music, like traditional music from like Hawaii and China and India, and Mexico, that sort of thing. They have classical pieces like Mozart and Beethoven. Uh. And they were going to leave it at that, and then they said, the guy, when they were sending out the pro, one of the... And yet they can only fit, like, two songs on a vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> and they said, uh... 21 well, minutes on each side. And they said, no, well, wait, uh, we, we should include a song that represents the young people, because they're just as much a part of the earth as well. So they chose Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry, which I think is a decent addition to that fucking... To the sounds of Earth, because it's a good fucking song. It is a great song. Oh, you're in the oh, you're in the Oon as my. F yeah, I, I was in New York. I, I, I fucking hate this. When I went to visit New York City, Jesus um, geez, what the fuck was that guy doing? Oh, whipping around. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Uh, I was in New York and uh, we were there for a band trip and uh, we were uh, the the some of the teachers were like, hey, does anybody want to go visit the United Nations? And I stuck my head up because like, hey, I want I want to go visit this because I, I have a passing interest in politics and. Uh, Unfortunately, there was not enough interest, but two other people who wanted to go, they kept like, well, let's go see the Oon. And I'm like, the what? And it's like, the Oon. And I'm like, you mean the UN? He's like, yeah, let's go see the Oon. And I'm like, I don't want to go if you two are coming, I gotta be honest. <laughs> but they were your best friends. No, they weren't. I fucking hated them. <laughs> Poor thing. Well, you can visit the Oon in the division, Adam. So this is, is the... This that's scale replica uh, of everything? I believe that's the General Assembly right there. Yes, it is. It's also the name of this mission. Oh, it is. General Assembly. I, I generally like the United Nations, even though it has a lot of structural problems in it. I've done many projects about the UN. I think the building looks alright. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you. Um, yeah, so, the Golden Disc, cool thing. Really cool. That's pretty uh, neat. Yeah, you can check out you can check out all the stuff that's on there. It's it's really cool. Carl Sagan is a cool guy. Also, Megatron hit a, hit, a, hit a message in there for any future Decepticons to find it so that he could win the Great War. The Transwarp technology. Oh, and I, I really hope aliens find that at some point. And they're like, "What the fuck is this?" Like, listen to, they listen to Johnny, uh, fucking Chuck Berry's Johnny. No, they're like, either. "How do we use it?" Oh yeah. There's like, there's some scratches on his gold thing. Anyway, it's melted, made it into a cup. Yep. They ain't got a damn clue. We all fucked. They're gonna find that and be like, "It's a war, symbol of war." It's so actually really interesting. Alien. All the stuff that's on there. Um. It's, uh, because it, it's a bunch, it's like, the way that they had to, like, they basically, it's, they, it has a map to Earth, and it's really interesting how they were able to, like... Yeah, it's, like, based on, like, pulsars and shit. Yeah, like, it's like, here are some local pulsars, and here's how they're distanced to Earth based on, like, how far away each of them are to, to Earth, like, and it's really interesting if you, if, if you go into the size of the whole thing. It's really, really cool. Um... Basically, they had to be able to speak universal languages in the hopes that someone. Would no, because a lot of because uh, they the only thing that the aliens need to be able to understand is binary and uh, that hydrogen has one atom and, or one electron and one proton. That's the only thing they need. But what if the aliens have different science? Yeah. Okay. I watched his video on uh, multiple dimensions last night, and it really fucked me up. So. The what show? It was just like a YouTube video about, like, bas it was five levels. Have you ever watched any of those? Five levels. So basically, like, an expert fucking goes in and explains uh, to five, like, levels of educated people. Like, so it would be like a uh, elementary school, junior high, high school, college, um, working adult, and then, like, professional in a field. Uh, like a topic that they're interested in. So like there was one that was about music, which was really cool. Oh, but I this one, what's that? 
the guy I ran past. I gotta talk to him. Oh, but and and in the other like in this one, it was about different dimensions. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was interesting, but it, it fucked me up pretty royally. So I can't I can't watch that shit anymore. It fucks me fucks me up too bad. What yeah, I think it's all interesting. Uh, I think I really find it interesting, and just like I just think like I'm like, what if a portal a wormhole opens up and we get sucked in and we're all dead, and then I'm like, all right, now I'm gonna have an anxiety attack. It's just weird. Um, <clears throat> just don't worry about it, man. Yeah, exactly. That's all they do. But um, I don't actually mean that's a terrible place to get somebody who's having an anxiety. The fuck? The helicopter just clipped right through that t- zero out of ten it. game. Fuck off. It's funny though because it's the only thing that actually works. Like, that works really well. It's like, you, you don't worry about it. It's like, okay. Yeah, but telling that to somebody in the middle of having an anxiety yeah. attack is oh, fucking it's awful. fucking useless. You're right. But it's like, it's the only thing that, like, surefire prevents you from fucking going off the deep end. I'm glad he's popping flares, even though you're just shooting at it. Sir, they're just shooting a like, small arms fire at it. Should we fly away? I'm like, no, pop flares! <laughs> Find that bitch coming down yet. Should we shoot the rockets at Karen? No! Everywhere but Karen! They will, but this is the one part of this entire level where you're and Are you wearing- I thought you were wearing- also, I have like a garbage can glitching like, through me. This R5 unit has a bad motivator or whatever. I can see three people. Wearing a fucking Raiden. Uh, R5 I think is gonna be in the Mandalorian, I believe. Uh, yeah, because the R5 is the Mandalorian's little astromech droid. Uh, because he didn't actually break C3, or R2-D2 asked him. Basically, the way that the, that short works, that R2-D2 uh, looked at the R5 unit and said, Hey, it's really important that I be, uh, I work for the Rebels. It's really important that I, um, just join up with this family. Can you please fake a bad motivator so I can be with this family? And the R5 unit said, I'll do it. And then, so anyway, but he was, he was fine. He didn't actually have a bad motivator. Um, and, uh, and he eventually ended up in the care of the Mandalorian, whoever that is. So, I'm really excited for that to come out. I'm super fucking stoked. What is it? The Mandalorian. It's the Star you Wars You haven't TV heard show. about the Mandalorian? No. Oh, man, we got something to show you after this. It's a, it's a TV series. Is it, it live action? Yeah, yeah, it looks really good. Come back the first in live action range. TV show. No, and I'm not saying that Clone Wars or Rebels weren't good because they were really yeah. good. I love both those shows, but, but <coughs> this show looks amazing for cool. live action. You can tell they put a lot of money in. This is like their Game of Thrones, for lack of a better term. Wow. So uh, this yeah, is coming like, out on the Disney streaming thing? Yeah, Disney Plus yeah. or whatever it's called. And John so y'all Favreau's getting that? I am. I am, yeah. I'm pretty excited for it, honestly. Because I, just I wasn't be, going to, I but Mandalorian was going to... And I'm, I might also get CBS Access when Picard comes out just for that. Man, there's so many shows. I think that's free. I don't, I don't know. I, I haven't looked into it. I'm not, I don't disbelieve you. Yeah. What? The CBS All if Access. If you get, if you get Crave, you get all those I don't channels. Have Crave City, shit. yeah. Well, Crave is five ninety nine, but you get, you get the on demand for when the episodes come out. But. Come back in range, man. Uh, um. Yeah, I don't know. There's a. Um, there's so many shows out there that, like, I need to watch. Like, they're, we're in such a great time for television right now. Because, like, remember back in, like, the early 2000s where, like, there was no... Like, the only shows people had to watch were, like, The Sopranos. And that was the only thing worth, like, worth watching. Now there's so many good shows. Like, there's all the Marvel TV shows. Did you guys hear about Watchmen? There, uh, there's Watchmen. There's, uh, the, the, the boys. There's all, like, Amazon's got, show. like, two dozen shows that are worth watching. Netflix has two dozen shows worth watching. Like, I literally cannot keep up with the amount of TV Take out that, there. Take that, George Washington. Oh, is, did yeah, you kill him? Bitch. Is this, is this the Black whole, Hawk is down. this the mission? We got a Black Hawk down. Yep. Is Johnny, uh, is Johnny Sparks in the fucking... Johnny Sparks? Yeah, is he in the, uh... Who the fuck is Johnny Sparks? Johnny Flame. What the fuck is his name? Johnny Storm? Yeah. You mean the Human Torch? Yeah. The Fantastic Fart? Yes. Johnny Sparks. Yes. Johnny Sparks sounds like the worst Harry Potter I'm pretty Potter sure character. he might be a porn star. <laughs> I'm to look this up now. Johnny Sparks. Well, there you go, everybody. We finished the game. Did we? That's it. There's a few other... I mean, there's other side missions no, and stuff. No, fuck it. So... Next we, stop, Washington! We flew, we flew through all of the story without the cutscenes and the actual, like, threads of narrative that wove all the missions together. Uh, so I guess if you really want the story, then you can play through it yourself. Uh, if we can, there might be... I think in this area, there's a cutscene that sort of leads into the next game. If I can... If you can access it after finishing the game, then I'll see if I can find it. 
But other than that, we did everything. Tracked down. Uh, we we stopped. We stopped the factions. Eliminated their uh, their leaders. Though you know, there's still some remnants left around that you can go through and mop up in the side missions and in the underground DLC. Uh, and then we uh, tracked down <clears throat> the manufacturers of the poison. And then next up, Washington. And these are all the bodies, and then we will be going to Washington. Yeah, I guess we're going to play through the second game as well. Yeah, but that'll be next time. Uh, on this, next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Division <laughs> Z. Hey, let me see if I can, uh, can you get in here? No, you can't. Can it? Wait, no. oh, yes, you can, okay. All right, let's do our cutscene. It was there the whole time. This is where you start off, isn't it? No, this is uh, when you when you finish the mission we just did in the story mode. You get a uh, like a unknown marker or an unknown signal from this building, which is where Aaron Keener was. Um, and so, if you listen to his echo, it kind of it pretty much indicates that he's like leaving and going to somewhere else. Is it the Rogue Division west. agent or whatever? Yeah, he was the Rogue Division agent. So he kind of leaves like an epilogue or a kind of like a monologue for you. Epilogue. A what? A mobilogue. Epilogue. A sequel log. It's uh, epilogue shortened down is a polo. <laughs> Ebola. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. Goodbye, anyway. everybody. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for the adventures of Karen. In Washington. The, the dun, capital, dun, not the dun, state. Dun, 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 dun. See you oh, next sorry. time. See the week. There you go. Take that, you slave tooth bitch. <laughs>